Hi and welcome to part 1 of the tutorial about how to black box the RaceFlight 1 flight control software and how to set up your quad and how to set up your analyzing tools so let's say about Clean Flight, Black Box Explorer and the Beat of Flight 1. Okay. So let's start about how to set up your quad. Make sure you connect your quad to the USB and launch the latest configurator and go to the setup and you see on the modes there is a logging mode and make sure you set a channel you want to it so you, it can be either a, a different channel than the ARM channel that I use so I have a specific switch for logging uh, but you also can set it to the ARM switch so it automatically locks when you ARM but make sure, uh, just note that the logging will be quite big and will take some time to download so uh, simple switch will is recommended here all there is something you need to do so make sure you go to logging and I do have a log now but for the first time format your flash this will take some time but only then the black box is gonna work on our brand new flag controller okay now you can see it's clean zero megabytes used and if there is any log just go to download flight log it will give you a text file which you can import to the analyzing tools now let's go to the tools you can use to analyze the log so um, there are two chrome apps inside chrome you can install um, one is clean flight black box explorer one is speed of flight black box explorer and the main difference between two is mostly the resolution and the beta flight one does have some downsides over the clean flight one so let's start with the beta flight so if you let's, let me close it so that we have a fresh one um, if you start it you can open flight file in the video and open the flight log and there you see my setup so I have um, pit roll, pit pitch and pit yaw and if you go to graph setup you can set them up so basically those are the default values so if I would add this you can see it's roll for P, I and D and a custom field and there you have to select um, the U gyro one so if you go to pit roll it would be u gyro 0 for pit pitch it would be u gyro 1 and for the all axis it's u gyro 2 and you can see the log now with the different values and um, the downside about the beta flight one is that your motors won't work so if i would you want to view the motors I just have a, a dotted flat line and it's not working. Also at the bottom there is no, no information about uh, the throttle value at this point of the log. So let's remove the motors again and save it. Okay. But the benefit of the, the beta, fl beta flight one is that the resolution of your screen it's, it's more used than the other one you will see shortly. And the graphs are, are finer and yeah it's sometimes easier to spot errors um, also please note there is an S key so if I press S I turn off smoothing and you will see the, the graphs is much um, yeah there's no zigzag in the graph so you can switch between them with using S um, if you go to with the clean flight one we'll also open this up um, use the same log. Um, thanks to Papa Yu from the Slack team, uh, it's his setup, uh, using his graph setup. So um, let's start with the motors. So motors are working on the Clean Flight Explorer. And I have three custom graphs, which is the RC command for roll and the UGIRO roll and so on. And then I have the three uh, pit controller, um, which are the default ones. Also, you can go to graph setup and the motor one is default these three are custom graphs so just go add custom graph um, give it a name and 
use these two fields to see what you need and make sure to save it and yeah so but you can see here at the bottom you see the motor input and also the motors on the top of the graph will work so you can see what the quad was doing um, and how I was flying it so um, yeah, you can also see the downside of Clean Flight One. So I have a um, 2.5k screen here, and it's using hardly any of it. So it's not that precise, and that's why I am using the Peter Flight One. But if I want to have a look at the motor tab and so on, I have to use Clean Flight as well. Okay, that's for part one. So how to set up your quad, how to um, enable logging and what tools to use and how I set up these tools so you can use different setups for sure it's not a, not a science so everyone can do its own thing but that's just the way I do okay thanks for watching and see you in part two